Welcome to another Around the Grounds, a little special episode tonight. Um, I'm joined with my pal uh, Jake, Punk Chef 41. Um, after a mad uh, 24 hours, Sheffield Wednesday, I thought I'd sleep on it and try and digest for what's happened um, at my club, Sheffield Wednesday. Um, Jake, <laughs> thoughts on the last 24 hours, mate? How are you feeling? Mental. It's <laughs> absolutely mental. I don't understand it at all, to be fair. No. But at the same time, with everything that's coming out and everything that's been said, I have the thing where I can see I can see it being mutual agreement because we're hearing that Darren Moore wanted players in January and didn't get it. Yeah. And if he'd been told it feels like Chance Series Chance over over promised then under under delivered, if that makes sense. Yeah. It feels like he's giving him the big, hey, this is what we're going for, this is how we're going, and then pulled the rug out from underneath him. Yeah, on hundred percent. Yeah, it's just a, a massive disagreement in in transfer dealings. I think with what money it, it got to be, but at the same time, I do agree with what Darren Moore said. If it if it come out and it and it's true that yeah. Darren Moore want ten players, then I agree we do need ten players. But yeah. let's think of it this way, and I think it's something people haven't thought of. Chancery want to run this club in a sustainable way, right? Yeah. Is the players that were on there not a way of doing it sustainably? And yeah. Chan, you know what I mean? I, you, I yeah. think you've got an owner that's very scared to actually put money in because of yeah. that. He could have been burnt before. I, I, it's it weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the main thing. Isn't it? He's, he's been burnt before. Um, I'm reading a lot of things saying people frustrated that he's, why don't we spend the money? I think it's not as simple as that. You just can't no. spend the money. It, it, FA, FFP is there for a reason. Yeah. And look, at it's cost. It's cost. It's, cost it's, already, cost, yeah. it's already costing the clubs um, next season. Like Wigan, obviously, Ready. Ready, they've both been here. Um, and we don't want to be back in League One. Um, I think, do you think that's the main reason of the last 24 hours from all leaving? I think it's a mixture. I still think it's an an animical flip because I think think Darren's too nice of a bloke to throw his toys out the pram. Let's put it that way. I think he's too nice of a bloke to go and say stuff. Like, look at during that window when he didn't get any players he kept on saying, well, we're all right, we've got what we've got and then we'll find out he wanted a four or five. Yeah, yeah. But he didn't say anything. He didn't throw the owner under the bus, did he? He just said, no. "And this is what I need." Yeah. Um, I think this is amicable, and I think it's probably the right decision if Darren isn't allowed what he wants after he achieved. But does yeah. did the trainer thought of going? Was this already planned after the first leg? And yeah. can say he wasn't expecting Darren to do what he did. Yeah, like there's already been a two week plan in place. And that's what's happened. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think we have to tread very carefully now because we do not want to be in another position where we're having financial fair play issues again. We don't really want to upset the EFL, especially with Steve Parry in charge. He's ex-Liverpool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thing. There's already links there that they don't like us very much. Um, yeah. And the thing is, Chancery's done so well to get the fan base back on side, bank to Darren Moore. And it just feels like a complete rug pull. You go yeah. from the celebration, of, right, we're planning for the season, who are we getting? But it makes sense why we've not heard anything about players coming in. Yeah. Why why they've all either been free agents or we're looking at this. I, I don't... Again, <laughs> I keep saying, I don't know. <laughs> I really <laughs> don't know because the last 24 hours has been insane. Because even journalists who you think would be a little bit in the know were caught flat footed. Yeah. They kind of gone, what? Yeah, and yeah. I think the only thing I can think of that is over promised something. Mm. Like, I always thought that Darren Moore had been told in the summer that he can fend because he didn't get what he wanted in January. Yeah. Now that it comes to going up, 
Chan Series now having to look at the books and work it out. Yeah. And I think we have to realize Chan Series doesn't want to put us in that mess again. No, 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 no. But if you look at Luton, Luton got out of this league with only spending two million. You can yeah. get out of this league without spending a lot of money. It's yeah, yeah. doable. For me, for me, coming into this league, I wasn't expecting to be up there. I think with the clubs that's come down, with the clubs that's still in it, it's, it's, it's a tall order whether you chuck up money at it anyway. It's not not guaranteed to be, no. be challenging for that playoff. Um, I, I, uh, I would have gone mid-table or just surviving the yeah, next season. Because I, I, that, I want us to be a sustainable champion championship club. Yeah. I, I don't want to be chucking money at you like your roads type characters where we're just wasting money and it's just not paying off. I'd sooner get the youth in, um, get the league players from lower leagues and just build a, a squad that you know is going to put a, put a wear the wear the badge with pride basically, yeah. like your Liam Palmers and, and characters like that. I just I uh, think. The problem is we don't have a good setup behind the scenes. No. Like our academy's not great. Our training ground dilapidated. The stadium needs a bit of work. Yeah. We, in in the face of the playoff final, we have won the final and gone up. We've lost our yeah. head of recruitment to Blackpool. We just lost our manager and the coaching staff. We have 14 players signed up to the club. And the season starts in 43 days. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So so going forward, what do you think Chan Siri needs to address? Um, obviously, tonight's the big um, the big meeting, the big <laughs> fans I, forum. What... First thing first, I want to say, hats off for him to still doing it because yeah. most people would have run and hided. Him. Yeah, yeah. He would have gone. He got some very big cojones to still say, I'm going to do this and put his face out there. Fair play to him. And yeah. anyone that says kind of goes, oh, but he's the, thing, he's the face of it. And the thing is, the only thing is, this band forum feels very staged. Yeah. The timing of it all feels staged. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is he, is he going <laughs> to wheel a manager out behind him? Ta -da! <laughs> I don't think I don't think he can. I think he, <laughs> I think there's got to be an agreement with the press that it all gets done in like a press conference way. Yeah. If he did it, it would be funny. But I think tonight needs to be a case of what is the financial situation at the club? Yeah. I don't want to know the ins and outs. I don't want to know how much the tea lady made. I don't want to know how much our yeah. electric bill is. Yeah. I just want to know we're financially okay. Yeah. Uh, is there any investment coming from outside anytime soon? Is, there still, is, it, is that something you're still looking into? Have we got more sponsorship coming than the A-Up deal? Because yeah. I think sponsorship is somewhere where we lack a lot. Yeah. I don't think we're great at the commercial side. Uh, is the money to spend in the window? If so, don't say how much. I don't want to know because then no. you're telling everybody how much you've got and then that prices yeah. you out of things. Is, is his heart still in the project, which I still think it is? Yeah. But I just want a bit of clarity about where, what, I want a plan. Yeah. That basically, I want a plan. I'm sick and tired of every season we have a season. We have the same thing that it's, it's a one-year plan. It's never yeah, yeah. seemed to be a two, three-year. Have you ever seen the QPR documentary where it was the five-year plan? I have get on... So I can't remember what it's on. It, it's where QPR got taken over by the F1 owner. And it's right. where they get they start from where they are, they get promoted and all that kind of stuff. And they have a five year plan. Yeah. I want a three year plan. I want I want something that can yeah, say yeah. this I want the vision where he wants it to go. Because yeah. at the end of the day, everyone can say it's my club. It's not our club, it's not my club, it's not your club. We're just yeah. fans. If anyone, it's the bloke who pays for everything. It's yeah. Mine and your club's in the fact that we supported it for years and it will always be my club. But when yeah. you think of it as who club it actually is, it's Chan Series. Yeah. I think as fans, we just don't want these random days where it's just going to be another like, bump in the road type thing. So how many times are we, are we going to have this where 
it's either FFPs, hitters, we're going to have points deduction. Now, as managers gone going into a new season, I think it's leave, leave, leave. We've waited 43 days instead of two weeks this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's an improvement. <laughs> so, do you think do you think the matter could have been dealt with quicker, or do you think it's just a total disagreement with what's if the if the idea was to go in another direction, right? Yeah. Why don't you do it after yeah. the celebration at the um thingy? Yeah. At the um Sheffield City Hall. Yeah. You turn around and say it then. Yeah. You go, we thank Darren Moore for his services. We are it's an amicable flip and we're in the process of looking. Yeah. We're already three weeks behind because of playoffs. That's it, yeah. Play, playoffs always... Playoff, the thing that people don't forget about playoffs, it's great when you win them. Lovely. Yeah. But it puts you three weeks behind everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Because you've got three weeks where you were planning, Yeah. and that's gone. Yeah. Like, look at Ipswich, look at Plymouth. They've already probably got the targets in line. Yeah. Anyone in the championship has still got the targets in line. Yeah. Um, we have to be quick. We can't be waiting a week or two for a manager to come in. No. It got to be, for me, end of this week. End of yeah. this week, Friday, I want a manager in place. Yeah, yeah. And whoever it is, we back him as fans. We give him a chance. Yeah. Even, if, even if it is, I don't want it to be, even if it is, Carlos, you back him. Yeah. You give him, you give him the benefit of the doubt. It just, it's timing. It's the timing. It just feels uh, so... All those pictures we saw online of those two going around for dinner, I think that was the final goodbye dinner. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's what's weird. It's like it's. I mean, the, in the picture, they look like they were the pals just going out for But the thing the is, I think dream. they are. I yeah. think they are pals. I just think these had both had different directions where they want to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, do you think with the fans forum tonight, I'm just hopeful that the right questions are going to be asked. Yeah, I hope I it's done in a polite ma- yeah, way. I yeah, don't yeah. want a shouting fest. I don't want no. people to be like yelling and effing and blinding. At the no, end of the day, the... Chancery doesn't have to do this. No. And Chancery, it's, it's proven in the past. It, it, it comes out with the right methods and these fans for him, but he loses track and he starts going into these little mini meltdown rants. Um, I just hope <laughs> that the right questions are asked. And he comes up with, like you say, a plan going. I think. Forward. I think if we have a plan of knowing where we're going, I think people will be okay. Yeah. But again, this has been my one criticism of Chancery ever since he took over. It's always been on the hoof kind of plan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When Darren came in, it felt like there was a plan. Mm. But the issue with Darren was Darren always the case of when you we get to the championship, you're going. You yeah, are yeah. champion. You are only. You are only to get me out of League One. Yeah, which I think is very cool on Darren Moore. But yeah. if you look at what Darren Moore's done, I think Darren Moore underachieved in League One, but overachieved in the fan bet page, and probably overachieved in Chan Series way yeah. of doing it. Yeah, I mean, you look at the 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 results that we got last year. Obviously, we went on that run, but there a lot were one nil. Um, yeah, it wasn't pretty football, was it? No, no. And uh, I've read today a lot of fans were frustrated with that. So, if you, you look know, at if that, had something to do with it. First season in League One, we played pretty football. We did yeah. actually look good, but pretty yeah. football doesn't work sometimes in League One. No, no. no. We changed it. We changed yeah. it. We went to the League One style and football. And look what happened. Yeah. We got out. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. So, <laughs> obviously, now we've got to talk. Management, um, obviously Moore's gone. Um, we'll touch on him uh, in a minute. Uh, looking at the names, obviously Carlos is the number one favourite at the moment. Is it Gerard second still? Yeah, it... let's have a look. Um, I think Bruno Large, obviously Carlos is old number two is in there. Another um, another one that got put in the mix earlier was a link two he... from Portugal or something. Yeah. The thing yeah. is, people people are already like saying, "I don't want him." You actually look at yeah. what he did; he did very well. 
Yeah, yeah. He took he took a club that got seventh, and they only didn't get Europe because their owner didn't register. Yeah, is it the Victor it? Campbellos? Is it Victor? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, yeah, Camp- Campbellos. I think that's yeah. it. Obviously, you've got Nathan Jones in there. That's the one I Gilbert. don't want. Rude Van Nistelrooy is coming there. <laughs> uh, I said that last night as well, which is funny. <laughs> so to pluck a name out there, who, who, who would you go for, Jay? I've got two. Go on. I've got two. One's unrealistic in my mind, one's realistic. Yeah. If if Chancery wants to actually show us he's got the cash and give yeah. something, someone to build with, Go and get Graham Potter. Loves yeah. the project. Look yeah. at what he did at Brighton and Swansea. Yeah. Loves an absolute project. Loved yeah. to get down to the nitty gritty. Loved to build a culture and stuff. I don't see that happening. Yeah. I can't see him taking a championship club, a championship club who just come up from League One. No, I it can't. would it would have to be one hell of a sale pitch from Chancery to get that through. Yeah. The other one is Dean Smith. Yeah. He built Brentford. He built Villa to a point when they went up. He's only had bad fells at Norwich and Leicester. Yeah. And I think that's only because there's been the high expectation that he needs to get out of this league now. Yeah. If you don't put the expectation on him, he builds things really well. Yeah, yeah. He's on the radar. Yeah. And he he one of the the ones that you look at. I think that won't be a good shout. Ek went to captain too. Might be yeah, a pull. Yeah, yeah. Um, ironically, I've realised something when I've mentioned all oh, Darren Moore's a brummy, Dean Smith's a brummy, and Potter's a brummy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, is Carlos a no-go for you, then, uh, Jay? Ca- never go back. No. Never go back. Never go back. It never ends. Well, I know Ron Atkinson did it, but never yeah. go back. It, it, no. there's, a reason, there's a reason why you dumped your ex-girlfriend or your yeah. ex-girlfriend dumped you. You don't go back. Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> so just reflecting on obviously Darren Moore's time lastly, um, what's your thoughts on it? And and um Oh just... he he that man gave me something that I'd not had it with my club in a long time, and that was belief, yeah. passion. He gave me that feeling he can frustrate you, don't get me wrong. The football and the subs frustrate the yeah. hell out of you. I don't think he's a great manager tactically, but what he says to players and fans to get them on board. Yeah. He, he he can man manage any team. And I think the thing is, right now, we have the issue, even though we've lost him, Darren Moore now doesn't need Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday need Darren Moore, like we did at the beginning. His dock is so high now, he can take any job. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh, I think what he showed in the playoffs is a different level. We are now going to be the team that people say, We've got to turn this round. Look at what Sheffield Wednesday did. Yeah, yeah. I think the only blow for me in terms of it is we are we haven't start from square one because he's taken everyone. And yeah. that whenever people said sack Darren Moore, we, we need to. I always said he'll take his coaching staff with him. Yeah. And but for me, he gave up belief. He put he put pride in thing. And you yeah. know what the thing is, he turned into a Wednesday fan. I think he'll be. I think he'll always be looking out for our pictures now. Yeah, I yeah. think, I, but I also think he'll go in this guy to games or go in to the cop just to experience it as a fan. Yeah. Well, there were talk before even he, he took this job. Obviously, there's pictures of him at the All City v Wednesday playoff final. Mm, yeah. There were talk he already had a soft spot for Sheffield Wednesday. I think for me, uh, like you said, Jake, he's just. He brought that pride back. I, I'm secretly gutted he's gone, I'll be honest. Oh, I'd, to be fair, I'd, I'd, I'd have loved to see him uh, in the championship leading us because I just think he's got our best interests at heart and he knows what could be with this 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 club and if he ever did get us back, I mean, it, it just, it'd just be amazing. I, I, know, I know we just said never go back <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. This is the one I would, though, because he never yeah. got sacked. No. I, the thing is, the way Chan Series done it, lets him go on that high after Wembley. Yeah. And I think that's nice. I think he deserves that. I think he deserves yeah. to have the high and not like 10 games, 20 games into championship. We're not doing well. You're sacked. Off you go. Yeah. And then yeah. we remember that little bit in period. We're not going to have that. We're no. going to have the, he got us up to the playoff final. He got us the remarkable turnaround. 
And I think the telling sign is, again, with it is Darren Moore looked like he had a plan. Chan Siri looked like he didn't have a, had the same plan. And the part of me that wishes they could have had a bit more communication, but if Chan Siri's on that kind of, I need to save money, I can't give you yeah. that much money to go spend on a team of what you want. Yeah. That that's the thing. But Darren has come into this job and took us when we were at our worst and made the fans believe in the club again, made the fans believe what it's like to be a Wednesday fan again. Yeah. There's right. there's the people who don't even know what it's like to have the premiership days. I no. do, you do. Yeah. yeah. But there's a lot of our fan base that haven't got a clue what that felt like. No, no, no. I think he's probably given me one of my greatest moments on that second leg. Yeah, ditto. I think I've, you look back, I've had some good times, obviously being really little, mm. um, but none that I would I could really, because obviously we're little, we've, yeah. we've not really, do you know what I mean? Um, there's nothing you could really hang your hat on. Um, yeah, go yeah. Out, it's that. The only one I can have was that uh, Dippy AD uh, overhead kick from like outside the box. Yeah, yeah. And I remember, I would go, we've got a player here. And then I never yeah. heard anything from him. Yeah, like, oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> no, so um, obviously last words, what, what, what do you want to happen now um, in the next 24, 48 hours? Um, so 24 hours, I want, a plan for Chancery. I also want fans not to go too in the deep end. Just remember, he is the owner. He can pull the plug if he wanted to. Yeah. And just he's owner. He can pull the plug if he wants to and go, I'm done. After this, if it go, doesn't go the way he wants it to. He yeah. did kind of pull it a little bit last time he did a fan forum. Said club's up for sale and they why like, he's not. Yeah. I think you look at what we've got in ownership. We should be very lucky that we got chance here. We could have had a Wigan style owner. We yeah. could have had whoever. He still yeah. wants to put a bit of money in. I think the only thing I will say, Darren Moore never really got a proper transfer budget. He was always on scraps, which I would have liked to see him have like a Carlos style budget, a Bruce yeah, style yeah. budget, but he never got it. But next 48 hours, it needs to have a manager either in or talked about and it done. And yeah. then with that net 48 hours, a strategy for transfers done and dusted for the 29th or after, because we're back in training on the 29th of June. Yeah, yeah. But whoever comes in, they need to have their own people. We can't hand them their own people. If they yeah. say, I want this goalkeeping coat from such and such, you go get that goalkeeping coat from such and such, and the, but you don't then turn around and say, that's like your transfer budget. No, yeah. you go get the people that they want. You can't yep. Gary Monk this like we did. Gary yep. Monk never got his own people until right near the end, and then he went. Whoever comes in now has to have their own people. Yeah, 100%. I mean, the last word for me is fans just need to stick together also. We we obviously all support the great club. We're going to have different opinions. Yeah, We're not going to have the same views about it. I just think we just... Don't fight between it, yourselves. It doesn't... Yeah, it, I think it I've does. That's it. I've seen a few, obviously, bickering and whatnot. Just stick together. Remember the good times that we've just had and hopefully we we get more clarity in the next coming few days. Well, let's finish it on what Darren Moore said. Onwards and upwards to you all at Sheffield Wednesday. Please stay together as one. We are all Wednesday, aren't we? Yeah. And that, on that, Jake, I think we'll finish. Yeah. Um, Thank Jake, you for having me, mate. Yeah, no, it's amazing. Everyone give Jake a subscribe, punch it. Covers a lot of Wednesday stuff. This is a first for me doing a little little video. I thought I'd best jump on and uh, I just slept on it. I'm still trying to ponder it all and get it all in. I think that's an understatement. Uh, I cover Sheffield Wednesday. I think I've done five videos today. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> give them a watch. Obviously, class class guy, great content. And um, now give him a subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Cheers. See you later. See you later. Bye.